10 spots secured in the Sweet 16. And this is going to be the last one up for grabs. It's going to go to either Marshall from Huntington, West Virginia, or West Virginia from Morgantown. Peter Bolden, running point. Now they're getting a break, so is Canate. Bolden down the baseline, blocking foul call. Jansen Williams tried to draw the charge. The three on the shot clock. Watch Williams step over, try to cut off the baseline. Got to referee the defense on that play. Well, this is a rare break for Chalman Broder on the bench. Didn't get a whole lot. Bolton gets it into Allen. Teddy Allen, the freshman turnaround. He is a very good offensive player. Very skilled. Getting better on the defensive end. Mountaineers pick up three-quarter court. Marshall beats it. That's where you can get some threes. The backside of pressure. West steps back. Nine to shoot. West trying to get past Bolden. West turned it over. Scooped up and Terrence George. Look what I found. A bucket to put Marshall up by five again. Bolden takes it and drills it. Nice job working off the screen in action. Beadle, the sophomore from Covington, Kentucky, just across from Cincinnati. Back to the 1 2 2. And then they turned away on the worst turnover so far. Williams, first time they looked rattled by the pressure. Two point game. Who's going to make the most shots? Who has more points in the second half? If your bracket's already busted, play the Capital One NCAA Tournament Run Game on NCAA.com and in the March Madness Live app. Back comes Javon Carter. Well, if you were rattled by the pressure with the lineup that West Virginia just had on the floor, here comes Javon Carter at the top of the pressure, who leads the nation in steals, and then Kanate, who takes the rim on the backside. Javon Carter said it's my last one. Last trip to the tournament. I want to make it last as long as possible. Takes the 3D, and West Virginia regains the lead after Marshall led by eight early. That's a lot of length on the top of that pressure, too, for the smaller backcourt. Tips, so they're going to get back court. Let's see. Officials are going to get together, and Dan D'Antoni is waiting for him. Wow. The 10 seconds. 10 second. No backcourt violation, 10 second violation. Lamont West, I love the defensive effort, the length at the top of that press. Really cuts down your angles and takes your vision away. So just to clarify, they're not a backcourt violation, but 10 seconds in the backcourt. Never has the ball fully across the midcourt stripe. That's why the turnover. Bolden gets it back. And West Virginia squirting ahead with a three-point lead. It's an 8-0 run for the Mountaineers in a hurry. Turning up the defensive intensity on the thundering herd. They're trying to run. A lot of dribble handoff action for John Elmore with the ball. It's a lot of flares. We'll get the switch out of bounds. Elmore turns it over. Kanate stepped up, bothered Elmore, and the thundering herd starting to look flustered. See, that's the player right there, that if that's not going to be called a foul, that's not in Marshall's favor. Because Kanate jumped out the hedge on that, there was contact on that play. Bolden and Carter in the game together in the backcourt. Miles gets a break. Three straight Marshall turnovers. West Virginia taking advantage of that offensive foul. Rondell Watson draws the charge on Allen. Watson really sells this one, too. Teddy Allen knows he's got a smaller defender on him. He spins right into Watson. Hennema picks up the dribble. Elmore on the wing. Elmore gets past Allen. He tries to toss it to Hennema. And that's now four straight turnovers by Marshall. 
Melvin West Virginia on its 8-0 run. So there's times when Bob Huggins' defense turns you over, and there's other times when they just speed you up. Sometimes they speed you up leading to that turnover. West. Pinate goes over Pinnaman to get the offensive board. Can't finish. Fight for this rebound. Elmore swats it away from Allen. Coming back to play D after the turnover. Look at the effort on the glass. Don Elmore registering in the right side of the box score. Elmore already has four turnovers. So trying to make up for it on the defensive end. Poked away. Elmore runs it down, stepped out of bounds. Right in front of us, stepped out of bounds. Touched it on the sideline, so give it back to West Virginia. Eight Street, 12 2 run, West Virginia. Taken away, West steals it. West switches to the left. Allen gets the rebound. Bolden hustled back. We got two players down. So a stoppage. Looks like Williams and Harris got tangled up. And so Randy McCall stops the action to make sure the training staffs can get to. Wesley Harris and Jansen Williams. And so in the midst of a frenetic game between Marshall and West Virginia, everything stops. Let's see if we can get a look. Top of your screen, there you go. Oh, wow. I mean, they banged heads. Sure did. Neither one of them saw the other. Williams on the end of the Marshall bench. Harris a long time getting up. And Paul Sells comes over to tell us they just bang, we're not gonna look the monitor, nothing flagrant basketball play. Right. Come, not even come foul, just two guys banging into each other. And obviously John Shrippen will have an update whenever we get one on both Wesley Harris for West Virginia and Jansen Williams for Marshall. And that's a nice sportsmanship note with the thundering herd fans applauding Wesley Harris standing up and walking back to the West Virginia bench. And now we dive right back in. Miles back into the game for the Mountaineers with Bolden. Bolden out there with Miles and Carter for the Mountaineers. Line up for West Virginia. Carter on the screen for Kanate. Takes it in Pinnacle and spotted it. Kanate, that's an offensive foul on Kanate. Sending us to an official timeout. West Virginia now by three. 